Yes, uh, we're tracking uh, the performance and the polling across 102 constituencies in 21 states in the first phase. Let me go across to you, Mr. Hazarika. We are uh, trying to understand how much can the BJP make inroads in seats where it hasn't historically won before. Uh, how do you think the BJP is poised in the Northeast so far? I think the out of the 24-25 seats the that are up for grabs in the northeast i think the bjp is well placed in and its allies are well placed in most of them uh, i think there'll be a few close contests uh, including in uh, manipur and uh, at least one or two in assam i think the one that uh, you spoke about earlier the one in jorhat with gorov gogoi that should be very interesting, but I think in in uh, across uh, the various states, um, barring uh, Mizoram and uh, uh, Sikkim, uh, where the uh, the local parties, uh, the the main parties contesting each other are, uh, I would think that the regional parties have a chance there. But in a place like Meghalaya, where, where I am right now, uh, it's largely uh, the BJP is not fielding a candidate. It's supporting the NPP, which is uh, in power here. So I think it's it's fairly... Right. Uh, every state, every state Mr. Sa yeah. Mr. Hazarika, has its own issues, uh, especially uh, states like uh, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Kerala... How do elections in the Northeast, places in Tamil, uh, in Tripura, uh, Assam, Meghalaya, Manipur, Mizoram, how can they be different from the rest of the country? Uh, what are some of the issues that will play out very closely? We've heard about CAA, we've heard about uh, National Registrar or Re Register of Citizens as well. How do these issues change things on the ground? I think in... Um in 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 assam because i missed the first part of your question it's sort of the screen vanished um these these are substantial issues but uh, i think uh, it's mobilization uh, and the services that are being provided and the opportunities that uh, uh, seek uh, to meet people's young people's aspirations i think these are the things that really uh, driving people, but a lot of mobilization has taken place, I think, by the BJP, which is uh, and its allies, which is going to stand it in good stead. Uh, as far as the NRC and the CA are concerned, I mean, they may be very important, uh, the CA, especially in other parts of the country, but here it's not really made much of a dent uh, in, in recent times. Um, yeah, but the NRC right. is still. Uh an issue that, that uh, draws a lot of attention. Right. Uh, we have seen, Mr. Hazarika, some violence today in inner Manipur. Uh, we've also seen some uh, violence in Kuch Bihar. That's in West Bengal. But just to speak to you about the violence in Manipur, could you throw some light on this as well? Well, there's, uh, there's been tension, of course, uh, building up... Uh, in, in inner Manipur is essentially the valley. And outer Manipur, what's called outer Manipur, is the, the hills around the valley, which is inhabited by a number of uh, ethnic groups, including the Kokis, Nagas, and other other such other communities. Uh, so the tension has been there. There have been uh, uh, concerns about this. But I don't think it's been very extensive. The violence is... Uh, uh, is limited. It's not 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 extensive, as far as I understand. Right. My final question to you, uh, Mr. Hazarika, would be: uh, the the BJP and the Prime Minister are trying to win as many seats as possible. The focus is on getting 400 plus. What are some of the issues that are going to play out in the Northeast? over the rest of the phases, according to you? I think the uh, issues uh, remain uh, 
key the key issues remain mobilization remote mobilization of the of the voters uh, the issues of uh, inflation performance uh, concerns about safety identity all these are there and security and peace so these 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 are the key issues and and the, the whole story of whether there is growth or not because in in manipur for example in in the over the past year there has been no growth um, and i think uh, in the valley also there are deep concerns about the fact that uh, the state government has not been able to uh, deliver on on many economic issues because of the confrontation and the uh, the, the very tragic uh, violence uh, that has uh, taken place since last may so i think these are the four or five right. issues that will remain at the heart of uh, these elections uh, and but i think the mobilization by the different parties especially the bjp is key to uh, getting a, a larger number than it got uh, the last time Okay, Mr. Hazarika, thank you very much for joining us on the program. Let me get one final word from Niloy, who's finally joining us, our deputy editor in the Northeast. Uh, Niloy, how has the polling been uh, across those 15 constituencies in the Northeast? The key issues for the voters, any trends that you're picking up? But you see, if you uh, if you talk about Assam, uh, five seats were afraid today, all in Upper Assam, Jibruga, Jorhat, Lakhimpur, uh, Sunitpur, and Kaziranga, the erstwhile. Koliabur constituency, which was a domain for the Congress, represented by Gaurav Kogoy, now has been converted into, after delimitation, has been renamed into Kasiranga, where uh, the uh, MP, uh, BJP MP Kamakar Prasad Tasa is contesting. The, mo the most important constituency out of this five was Jorhat, the T capitalism, contested by Gaurav Gogoi, Congress tall leader. And uh, the, the present MP, BJP MP, Tokon Kumar Gogoi, the, it, is a, it was a battle between Gogoi between, uh, and Gogoi, the royal, commun uh, the royal community, the Ahom dynasty fight. And in Upper Assam, if you see the elections, if there is a binary of uh, the Ahom politics. Now, uh, the percentage, if you see, uh, till five of uh, five minutes is very important. That is, uh, all around it is around 70.8. Remember, it, uh, in Upper Assam, it was raining the whole day. So, possibly, a lot many voters are still inside the polling booth, and polling booth sh polling shall continue till 8, 8, 8, 8 30 in the evening. So, the, uh, the, 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 the figure might rise up to 76, 77, which is above last year's margin. Now, that plays an important role for Gaurav Gogoi and out of these five till now, Jorhat has recorded the highest number of polling percentage that is somewhere around 70 76% till now. Higher percentage means a lot for Gaurav Gogoi. The entire Congress is banking on Gaurav Gogoi's success. If you see right from the, the, all the stalwarts of BJP, right from the chief minister to all his ministers, to central ministers, all were camping in Jorhat. And the uh, chief minister says that the margin will be, margin of victory shall be somewhere between two, uh, two lakhs to three lakhs. Now, if you see that what are the main issues in Jorhat, Right. Definitely, BJP has been saying that it's all around development. Remember, the entire Majuri, the world's largest river island, okay. the river island district of Assam, have been included in Jorhat district. That means another 1.4 lakh right. like, votes from Majuli, which BJP counts to be in their kitty. Now, that is one important uh, point. Uh, in Nibru, right, you see, Savannah the Sonwal, unit minister is there. Last point, I'm, I'm, if I may bring that. This election has been somewhat a test in Manipur. Inner Manipur has gone to the elections today. There has been a couple of incidents where the EVM machines have been broken, they have burned down, uh, the attempt of rigging. There was firing incident in Vishnupur. In Moirang, the EVM machines were broken. It was a test, and BJP's contestant was he was confident, though most of the violence took place in his district. It was a test because of the last one year of violence, more than 250 lives lost and the issues now remember the more this time out of the nine lakh vote that, that voters in manipur today around 3.5 okay. 3.9 we've completely run out of time but thank you for beautifully beautifully summing up the situation in the northeast for us and it'll be a pleasure to have you on the program in future for future phases in this 
long and hot election that we're experiencing. That's all we have time for on Election Exchange. Don't go anywhere. News and updates continue on the other side.